All right, let's get started with news you can use. We're going to talk about the general economy this morning. Uh, there was an article that just came out yesterday in Cal Matters, which is kind of a up close and personal view of some of the economics here in California. Uh, the reason that I'm going to refer to California is because, as we've talked several times before, a lot of times as California goes, eventually the rest of the country goes. So, um, Let's uh, dig right into it. This article is entitled, Unemployment Rate is Stagnant, Why Many Californians Aren't Going Back to Work. We talked about uh, on Labor Day or before Labor Day that the national uh, unemployment insurance that was due to COVID uh, was being canceled. That was the last of the extra benefits that the federal government was going to put out. So it was up to the state uh, to fill that gap and the government allowed them to uh, use the money that had given, been given to the various states uh, for landlord relief. They allowed them to use that for unemployment. Uh, most states, uh, with the exception, I think, of New York have not done that. Uh, they're keeping that money for what it's supposed to be for, which is the landlord assistance. Now, that said, only about 5% of that money has actually gone to the landlords. Most of it is sitting in the state coffers unused. <clears throat> Be that as it may, uh, the prediction was that when the unemployment benefits from the federal government ceased on the 6th, I think it was, of this month, that a ton of people would go back to work. That's not been the case. Um, looking at last month's uh, numbers, uh, or the last couple of weeks' numbers, actually, last week, California created 44% of all the new jobs in the United States. So one state ours, is responsible for 44% of the new jobs. However, our unemployment rate only went from 7.7 .7 to 7.6%. Basically, it didn't move at all. And the reason is because we've got our, the second highest unemployment in the country is people are just not going back to work. Um, they have learned to live a reduced, diminished lifestyle, spend less, uh, do less, that type of thing. And uh, there, there's an article, in this article, it talks about a, a well-known uh, restaurant in Sacramento area, in a, in, and let me just read it to you. It said, in a bid to attract new workers, the beloved Sacramento area sushi restaurant, Makuni, expanded benefits and hosted a job fair. This would have been a week and a half ago, but saw only three applicants. These guys have nine locations. Unfortunately, now, eight of the nine locations will close as of Monday due to the staffing shortage. So this is uh, affecting, you know, the fact that people aren't going back to work is affecting all kinds of other things. And in this case, you've taken a business that actually made it through COVID, uh, tried to start back up and they're gonna close, you know, 80, 90% of their business. Eight of nine locations are gonna have to close completely because they couldn't find enough people to work. Um, and, and the reason, because, you know, a lot of these people have just decided they can't really afford or they don't want to afford to go back to work. They can live on a smaller footprint money-wise. Um, and in fact, last week, Californians filed 55,000 new, brand new jobless claims. So they were expecting this thing to go down to around 10,000 and actually went up from 30 to 55,000. So you know, it's the craziest thing. Uh, we're both creating a lot of new jobs and we're, we're creating a huge amount of unemployment. It's getting, it's gonna grow, I think, basically because of these kinds of things like the sushi restaurant. <clears throat> um, and now the kicker is that about a half of the, the new jobs we created in the last two weeks were government employees. So in California, uh, something like 35 to 40% of all people who earn an income earn an income from the government. And by the government, I mean anything from school teachers and police to firefighters to court employees to state employees. So, you know, a huge amount of our employment is at the government level. And that's what's filled the gap is the government keeps hiring more people. Eventually, you know, here in the People's Republic of California, it's going to be everybody's employed by the government. Uh, it's a crazy thing, but private sector is not uh, increasing and can't get new employees. Government will take anybody and we can't get anybody on the private sector. So uh, expect this to be the other shoe that drops after the housing thing that uh, is going on, uh, the unemployment or the fact that uh, we're underemployed for the, the basic numbers of people in the United States that could work.
Um, and some of that is the fault of the government. Some of that is the fault of the people. Like I said, they've just learned to be on the government handout. And it's like, why go back to work? There's no reason to not collect. In California, you can collect probably $4,000 a month uh, by staying unemployed. So, you know, a lot of these people, it's like I could make four or five by waiting tables, or I could make four by sitting home and having the government put money in my account every Friday. So that's what's going to happen uh, until we make those changes. That will increase or decrease the economy. It will increase uh, unemployment across the board in all states. And, you know, this, this ideal goal of getting back to 2019 levels of employment, I think, is a pipe dream. I don't think we're going to get back there. So um, expect that to affect your guys' housing business. How will it affect it? There'll be a lot more houses coming on the market that need to be sold because people aren't making enough. They can live on the 4000 a month they can get from the government, but that extra money they could have got by working would have been enough to make their house payment. So um, we're seeing a spike in foreclosures. We're seeing a spike in mortgages that are going delinquent or default. We're seeing a spike in not making payments to the power company out here, Pacific Gas and Electric. Uh, we're seeing a spike in rentals not being paid or going delinquent. So all of that eventually turns into opportunity for you guys. And I would definitely keep my eyes and ears open. If you're in California, of course, it's happening now. Uh, it's going to go back east or further east uh, as time goes on. But I expect to see similar results because once again, you know, we start these trends out here and then they work their way back east. And of course, they skip some states like Texas and Idaho and Florida, but they they tend to, you know, flood the whole country with this type of behavior. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's good opportunity for all of you in this business. And I keep your eyes and ears open. We'll keep you abreast of where we think the good opportunities are. Uh, you guys keep your eyes open and give us feedback as to what you see.